fitting that such a clowny draft from uh, Navi will feature such clowny analysis from our panel desk. We've got a Pudge, and what seems to be even weirder, because it's Navi Pudge, that's kind of normal, Havos Clockwork. What's going on here, Lumi? I mean, Havos loves to play anything that's aggressive. I think he was born to be an offlane player. But it kind of, oh, hold that thought, you just cast this. All right, we got the snowball coming in. The Fisher actually goes out fun. It's not going to be the first one. The Enchantress goes down first, but it's uh, two already down for Na'Vi. They're going to catch up to Avost as well as it seems like. And I see going. Strike back large. Oh my god, he's not going anywhere. He's going to die. Seal Kid picks up the double kill and apparently running deep into the enemy jungle when they have a tusk is not a great idea. Yeah, I don't know what they expect out of that. I mean, Teddy has brought a level one if he wants <laughs> it, but you know, okay, he's gonna get a rune now, so that's that's something. But all right, so I think actually Havos would just love to play offlane because offlane gets to play all these aggressive heroes, but mm -hmm. instead they just kind of trap in a little farming box, and he, I don't think he likes that. So he's like, you know what, we're out. Let me play the clockwork. Let me show you, Funnick, how it's done. And so we're gonna have a, a safe lane farming Funnick Beastmaster. Uh, which should be uh, kind of babysat by uh, Seneco's Winter Wyvern, though he's obviously going to be spending some time in the middle lane. He's hoping to be able to pick off the Courier right now, mm. but that is not walking in, at least not yet anyway. Uh, it already has something purchased, the Magic Stick as well as a port, but yeah, not, nothing's happening right now. All right, so Dendi Pudge. You know, we did see 4C out. Remember that game where after they got knocked out and they just did this wonky shred and it was working for a long time? Mm-hmm. It would be sad for Navi fans if the Pudge was the pick that they needed all along, <laughs> uh -huh. and they didn't pick it to now, you know. All right, let's see if Dendi can uh, maybe get a hook on the limp. He's going to be slowed down here by the Winter Waterburn. Dendi, oh. almost getting a range, will be hit by the Snowball. Turn around, raise one, two, not enough to finish off Dendi. He's the tanky beast, he actually lands the hook on a Hunskin. Hunskin's going to turn and try and finish him off, but he's slowed Easy. down by the raw double kill for PSM. And maybe you're right, Lumi, maybe Pudge is the magic that Navi needed all along. Come on, Dendi. Come they on. They just didn't believe. Yeah. You miss all the hooks you don't throw, that's why they needed to believe. Havos, by the way, showing how a true offlane should be played, gives up first blood and continue to, you know, do dubious things on the bottom lane. He's already doing alright, he's actually getting decent levels here. Yeah, he's gonna be joined by the Enchantress now, we'll help, help him tank up this creep wave that they just intercepted from the double pull of Seal Kid, mm. who already has boots because he got a double kill to start this whole entire game off. <laughs> Yeah, I think Hanskin will continue to prove the uh, thorn on, on Navi's side. You know, leaving off game one off that amazing Spirit Breaker. He's already yes. involving himself in a lot of fights. Back in the mid lane, or back in the bottom, excuse me. Vols uh, might be in a little bit trouble. And it's gonna Cogs push back. And Seal Kid not able to do much else besides that. Hanskin will be able to scout out PSM, and uh, PSM is gonna actually just go deeper into the enemy jungle try and catch one of those creeps, but he's going to be turned around on. I'm not sure what his plan was here. That neutral creep was really worth it, but Hanskin will now get his level two. I was going to say, like, that was not... There was no ice shards from the Tusk. You could have gone back up that staircase, but PSM, I guess once you're that deep, you just keep going. Yeah, you, you kind of have to. Dandy invis up. Easy hook. Alright, now the clock is going to be there. Lim's going to be dead, right? Alright, they do get the kill, but Dandy's kind of trapped here. Yeah, he's going to try and get himself around the trees, but he'll hit by the snowball, and yeah, he's going to oh, be dead. The only okay. real hope is <laughs> All right. <laughs> the Rot deny? somehow gets the deny, but that's not going to happen. Golden Plate Brace plus Rot. I'm surprised to see Dendi not uh, tap his Rot button like repeatedly to at least try to deny himself. Mm, yeah. And then he'll get called as a scripter or something like that. Oh, uh, funny. He's getting a lot of free farm, at least 23 and 9, is no one's really contesting him anymore. <laughs> but it's like, yes, this is what I always dreamed to be, give me that free farm. <laughs> exactly, maybe maybe it's a, just, maybe this is what Navi needed. Yeah, I Funnick like finally able to get farm, and Avos finally able to play aggressively without getting punished too much, or maybe he will. Era, not gonna it's be fine. dying to Avos' aggressive play there, but... He's good. They don't get the counter kill, Era is hiding himself in the trees, pops the health potion, PSM won't be able to get that kill. And if anything, he may be turned around on here. He's going to be kind of stuck in the trees. He's got this small little opening to get out. And Seal Kid unable to block him out either, so... He won't get himself away, fortunately. In Chantra's early game, she could actually tank a lot if all you're dealing to her is physical right clicks. Uh, that heal is no joke. And now it looks like we're going to see a kill attempt. Is Eric going to die here? This is a great available. But this 
Hadouken? He's yeah. waiting for it. it, it oh, yeah, Aaron oh, knows that he has to oh. kind of like force the Seder to die, otherwise he'll just die from the nuke, but uh, he ends up getting the kill, and Chantress picks it up. Top lane, Yonas and Pun once again, stopping Na'Vi from being able to get that top rune. Last time he snagged a bounty rune run right in front of the Winter Wyvern, this time around he snags the Haste. Alright. Doing good. You know, Pudge is already hitting to that level where he could start kind of roaming around. Level 5 is the sweet spot where you want to be. Obviously getting 6 is good, but uh, we do see many dendy roams in the past starting from level 5. And then you could give Soneko now the, or as the slacks call it, Sonekio, the <laughs> mid lane, uh, to get some experience. Yeah. yeah, getting the level 6 on the Winter Wyvern a little bit earlier would be nice. Uh, PSM chased away out of the jungle by Jonas and Fun. Now, Na'Vi, they, they do still kind of need a win here. Granted, they even if they lose this and they get a draw, they still have another series where they could um, quite easily get the points necessary. Mm -hmm. But it would just be easier if they secured a 2-0 against Na'Vi, and that, that'll put them in the top two. Okay, so Na'Vi, there, there's no way at all. Even if the Cosmo... Oh, mid lane, there's a hook against Shadow Fiend. Easy hook here, and then he's going to give him the chase down. Unfortunately, well turned around here by Limp. Give him the solid one to raise, and the tower was helping out. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, they actually catch PSM as uh, Clockwork with the cogs wasn't enough to help him out and save his allies, so the three heroes and Nip get the kill. What set is that? That Enchantress set looks amazing. Got, them, got some butterflies going on. I don't know. It's not pressure. the gods Enchantress, I know that much. <laughs> That's that's some image I didn't want. And meanwhile, look, he's finally up top. Look at how much work he's done. He's got a T1, he's at the T2. Go, Beastmaster, go. <laughs> that's what happens when Earshaker and Tusk are roaming all the way into the other lanes. They're just giving Funic uh, the farm needed for that early Necronomicon at this rate. All right. Roar? Yeah, he's going to kill you. So fun. Actually, he doesn't have access. All right, here, give him the right click. Still, though, good job here by Funny. <laughs> like, I mean, if you're going to give him all the free space in the world, I guess he might as well go Aether Beast and push down these towers faster. Uh, Denny, man fight with Limp, the hook towards the tail end isn't going to be enough. Oh, oh, if only he had maybe lived through one of those early attempts, yeah, he could have gotten that kill. If Limp didn't get the other return kill, he would not have strength treads. No. So, he wouldn't have the extra HP. On skin. Well, he doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have ice shards to block out. Where's PSM going? He's all over the place right now. Yeah, it looks like he got his timing a little bit off on uh, the creep wave. Alright. Well, you did cast that random 4CL Alliance game too. Are we are we on the right track for that kind of game? I, I think we might be. I really think we might be at this at this pace. Winter Wyvern has phase boots. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, look, bro, Arctic you... Burn maxed out first. I'm going to get a lot of right clicks in. You do chase a lot just, better. Just trust me on this. And you do hit a lot harder. I mean, you have <laughs> attack range, right? Yeah. All right. Is this the build from now on? You just don't use Splinter Blast at all and see, to make sure you have mana and only Arctic Burn in uh, Winter's Curse? Oh, hold that thought as uh, Hanskin's going to cancel the smoke. Nobody sees him because Seneco is not even going for him. Seneco is flying somewhere else. Seneco, in fact, going for Limp. Not sure about that one. Oh, Shadow Fiend's gonna channel that. Also, Neko, he needs to get out. Dandy needs to get out. Everybody's starting to die under the enemy tier one. Here comes the ball. He's hooking in. All right, that's a pretty good hook. There's no more spells left. And then he's coming back in. They need an easy hook. All right, there's a grave. Hanskin's on the back line. Are they not killing him? Oh, no, he missed the point blank hook. Dandy, please. Oh, Denny might even die to the snowball now. He's going to be uh, trying to bottle himself through. Hanskin will take down to the rod, and he gets the deny from the rod as well. Uh, PSM's going to be the next target, but they... Well, they actually do have a Fissure with a Soul Ring, but PSM's just going to run full right and into Roshan. All right. All right. <laughs> Mad Jukes? Mad Jukes? No. All right, they're just going to give up on that one. Jonas Safan lost the mana from Soul Ring, so he couldn't hit a Fissure. Oh, my lord, this game. <laughs> All right, so real talk about the phase move real fast. You could actually splinter blast well before you even activate your Arctic Burn because mm -hmm. the cast range of splinter blast is so far. So you could take the splinter and then Arctic Burn and then phase, and then it'll be good. So it's actually not that bad. He's got so that would be 230. But then if he he wouldn't actually have enough mana, right? Uh, well, maybe a level six. He'll probably yeah. have enough mana. He just wouldn't. He'd be able to use Winter's Curse, but then no cold embrace. Yeah, I mean. Why do you need to embrace? You're going offensive, right? That's yeah. why you have the face. All right. Maybe get the soul ring next, just like uh, you would with the tranquil boots build. Sure. 
All right, Havost. Oh, oh no, that's a, that was a bad time for a counter ward. They spotted out Havost's rotation. They will be able to get the counter wards, and Havost is completely trapped like a rat. Oh. And oh, four position. Gonna try and get out of here, but no, Havost is still dead. Where would you find Havost nine minutes in a game? <laughs> well, between their tier one and tier two, trapped within trees and cocks. Pretty Maybe offlane isn't the, the, the position no, for him look because how he, much he doesn't have the, the farm to really be able to pull those kind of moves off. Like look at how much space he's camp. creating. Funnick, he's got Necker 1. Have you ever seen Beastmaster farm Necker 1 so fast? I haven't. It's all thanks to Havos. And You're right. I mean, Havos right now is playing the best 4 position I've ever seen in my life. So Necker <laughs> is getting farmed. He's getting bought. Like, I don't know what else you want from your support. Yeah, this is... Uh, you're absolutely right. I think you hit the nail right on the head. Yep. We said offlane clockwork, but really it was just a veiled four position. Even PSM, he's going to take over the five, I guess. You, you need, you need like, the early one-two level of experience, and then you start, you know, doing the force of... All right. So, what has Dendi done so far? Well, he's, he's hit a couple of hooks. He's died a lot. <laughs> he's one and four. He's one and four. Doesn't, doesn't really... He has, like, no levels. He's level six compared to the SF's level ten. He's not good. All right. He, he's going to get a hook if he wants it, but, oh, no, he's going to get spotted by the sigil. Yeah, he does, doesn't want to hook the uh, alchemist, that's for sure. So, I guess they're just going to give up this tier one tower. They get the bottom tier one in exchange, but... They still need a bit more time before the uh, Beastmaster is really ready to go. He's got Necrobook 2 now. At least can afford the recipe for it. And soon we'll have that all-powerful Necrobook 3 minions out. And maybe then Navi can win a fight. You know, actually, heroes like Dazzle, Husk, and Earthshaker are so good against Pudge. Especially under level 1 at that, right? So, Radiance bottom so uh, Dendi's attack. having a tough time. Normally, Dendi does buy solo smoke at this point in game and start picking off supports. But really, I think the only support he can actually kill is Dazzle. Radiance bottom tower. Yeah. Is Looks like we're gonna see a little bit of tower trade here. PSM tanking that acid spray doesn't really care. <laughs> Between the the phase boots, the swiftness aura, and let's not forget the almost maxed out uh, inner beast. Yeah. They take the tier two tier two tower really quickly. In fact, uh, Nip just only just now take that tier one at the top. Can Navi just go Roche now? Probably. They got Enchantress. They got Necrobooks. Oh, I think Nip realized that though. They're gonna go for the smoke in the top lane, and that's not just about uh, being able to keep the eyes of Na'Vi off of them. It's also gonna be about the movement speed, because they gotta get over to Roshan fast. Alright, here's what I predict. Na'Vi's gonna get a three kills in this team fight, and they will lose one. Three for one. Yeah. That's what Lumi predicts here. Yono some fun. He doesn't have the blink dagger to make the quick initiation, but Roshan's still only just below half HP. Four man fisher lead things off. One dude takes out one hero. PSM left with just no HP left. So oh, now the Echo Sam finishes him off. Funnick, he's gonna go down. It's already three down on the side of Navi. A fourth falls with Funnick in zero for Nip. Lumi, I think you're slightly off there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was close. It was, it was close. close. It was close. And uh, uh, Roshan died. That was four for one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're okay. right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So Nip. They now got What's the Dendi hook there? There was like 10 heroes there. How did he miss anybody? I think he hooked like his ally or something and they still died. Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, maybe he hooked the boar. I, I don't <laughs> So <laughs> Maybe the Necronomicon Beastmaster doesn't yeah. have the greatest synergy with the uh, the Pudge pickup. Well, ideally you want to hook enemies, but uh, <laughs> Navi's so behind that he's hooking teammates not to save them. He's like, eh, a hit hook is a hit hook. Okay. What does it matter? Dash HA. <laughs> Hook accuracy, man. That HA actually doesn't count, uh, at least in Dota 1 days. Yeah. Neko's gonna die. Yeah, he's gone. The oh, quick burst. Dendi. Dendi, thinking about it? Easy no. hook. Come on, let's go. I believe in you, Dendi. But does Dendi to believe in himself? Give give Dendi your energy. Oh, he got it! He got Lim to the exit kick him. That's not what he wants, though. Oh, my That's God. That's an Aegis hero. Oh, dear. BSM. Oh, with all that minus army, he actually goes down still. Dendi is going to be able to TP out and escape, but Funnick not as lucky. He's in deep. And he will die, giving away the triple kill now to Limp with a godlike spree. Oh, no, Navi. Not like this, man. <laughs> not like not this. Like this. <laughs> Nip will just keep on four manning down this middle lane. Might as well. He could probably take the tier two tower and still have Era free farming out the bottom lane. Dying which he's going minus and battle fury, by the way. This is going to be the most farmed alchemist that you've ever seen. So the highest GPM alchemist, I think, is fourteen hundred, uh, or was it twelve hundred? Well, we'll see if Era comes close because this uh, game. Oh, is... you're talking about when back in in the pubs where they had like the the highlight, the highest gold per minute. Or was that actually in a, actually in a pro game? 
What? Yeah, it's actually ridiculous. That's absurd. Yeah. Uh, and looks like Wyvern's gonna get picked off. I mean, we are gonna see an Alchemist. I mean, I'm gonna cook, just keep my tabs on GPM for, for the rest of the game. As he is currently sitting at. The problem is, he doesn't 500. have any stacks. No, he doesn't. You need to give him some stacks. Team, what are you doing? Well, the courier would have been a nice, uh, nice, nice little creep to kill. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the point of, uh... Okay, he's just bringing himself wards. I thought he was bringing himself the smoke. I was like, what's the point of smoking when you're already inside the enemy jungle? But, I guess he just wants to ward it up, but they're losing their tier 2 towers and losing heroes at that top lane. Alright, easy gank bottom. There you go, face food, arctic... Oh, no, he's just... All right, he... Okay, Denny, I believe in you. It's just a chemical race. Level 11 alchemist with double damage. Them? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, cool. Jesus, the Enchantress is actually oh, enough. Okay. Fallen. No, Enchantress did get buff. Yeah? She just need to get Axe and maybe like a Maelstrom or Deso and suddenly yeah. you're hitting hard. Yeah, it looks like she's going to go for the, the Midas first. And... All right. Then we can start speeding our I mean, they have a lot that. of time left in this game. Yeah, so. I'm sure. I mean, Nip don't look like they're going to be able to take a lane of Rex anytime soon. I mean, Shadow Fiend actually has like the the worst item bill, right? If one of you gets hooked, what is Shadow Blade gonna do for you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just see what uh, Havos can pull out here. He's been hit by the Fisher. They don't have any other catch besides that, though. Oh, Havos. and he's actually gonna turn and fight. Um, okay, okay. they managed to land the hook because of that one, but Havos is still gonna be going okay. down. Okay, Cox push back. Nuke is gonna catch him. One for one for Havos. Good job. Then, uh, yeah, I yeah. guess that's okay. I mean, when you're this far behind, you're getting one for one trade. That's good. The gold and experience is to the favor of Navi, so yeah. All right. They smoke. They want to. They want to get a little bit more. Okay. Limp. I mean, he still has the Aegis, but protection? I think it's going to expire soon. Uh, they've got Necro. Oh no, it's only Necro book two. Oh Jesus! Then he lands the hook, but Limp's Invis ultimate just wipes him out. Now Funny oh. trying to get away as well. PSM. Oh, oh the Fisher double kill for Yona. Some fun. Seal kid, yeah, he's gonna be fine. The Necro book won't be able to chase him down. <laughs> oh no, this is this is actually painful. Oh, okay. I, okay, you know, I think this is a smart read. PSM's going. You know what? I don't have enough space, despite what the commentators have said. I don't have enough space for the Midas. I'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab Maelstrom. the Maelstrom. Yeah. You need to uh, prepare uh, for your Raxus to go down, mm -hmm. so you need to start hitting big creeps. Yeah, that's... it's a, it's a forward thinking man. Yeah, you know that Mega Creeps battle is going to be long and hard. You need to start having those range heroes have the ability to mm. clear through them. Good stuff. Uh, mid lane looks like. I mean, NIP is still playing for real, so they have they have to win this game, like you previously mentioned. So they're trying hard. Yeah, and they're gonna take this tier two. Is he going another farming item on Alchemist? Is he going Maelstrom next? You, you, you do need a Maelstrom. All the creeps. Yeah. Just, just die instantly. Middle tower has fallen. I know. I, I think he he wish he was playing against. Uh, um, that prophet, that bat, the axe, <laughs> yeah. and the uh, octary. Octary. he's like, give me them trees, I want some trees. <laughs> oh no, he got shreds, alright, that's that's fine. Oh, it's the Winter Wyvern who actually gets the, the minus, I didn't notice that one. Oh, okay. Now you have movement speed and attack speed. Yeah. It's the it's build. Pretty brilliant. I, I can't wait for the Maelstrom on him too, with the Arctic Burn. I mean, I think I... we're gonna see a Rax trade, is that what's happening? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, Hutch got a hook. Tier 3s are helping out Anskin though. Oh no, there's a Grape on top. Havos, you need to get out of there. Havos wants a man fight, but he's taking way too much damage. Havos gonna be dead. Danny cannot complete the TP out. He will get the one kill though. Maybe he'll survive here? <laughs> yeah, they managed to get him. Meanwhile, the tier 3 tower is actually... This is all just space created. The tier 3 tower at the bottom lane. It may actually go down. And maybe they can even get a melee Rex. Perhaps this is going to be a Rex exchange. They buy back on Hanskin. And they will be able to finish up the melee Rax. Air's gonna come forward now with the unstable concoction. Chain stunning down Funning. And he'll probably just get right clicked out away. Same goes PSM hit by the snowball. Oh, nope. The ice shards. Catch them in the end, but eh, worth it. When you're down this far, Rax for Rax. All worth it. And yeah. Sineko. Uh, it's trying to curry snipe. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Oh. Fly away. What's the plan Five now? seconds. What's the plan? Die. <laughs> All right. That must have been the plan. For those of you guys that are wondering, um, Navi is perhaps not taking, playing this game, you know, 100% serious. If only the fountain was still protected by the fire push, maybe he was thinking if I get the Winter's Curse on someone inside of the fountain. Oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> That's a guarantee kill.
completely next level. Yeah. Necronomicon 3 now finished up by Funic. You know, I had this weird interaction that came up in a cast the other day, and I, mm-hmm. I don't, I didn't know the answer. All right, oh, let's oh, now, say now you're gonna put it on me. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on you. Oh, great. All right, you're a six six player, right? Like you should know this. <laughs> no. All right, hold that thought. Funic's gonna be there. Let's watch Funic die, everybody. Good times. Oh, oh, oh. he's pinging out. He's not even gonna get it. The boss just wants to kill us, guys. Come on, Winter's Curse on one hero. Dendi set up for the hook, but doesn't land it. He's uh, he doesn't want that SF. That's for sure. Run. All right. So if you're playing Wyvern against the Enchantress, and mm-hmm. you curse the Enchantress, and her allies are attacking her, do they get the Untouchable debuff? Uh, I don't know. I believe Ooh. so. We got a Tesla and a uh, lobby. That was interesting. Thanks, Lumi. Yeah. Were you flamed for that and you were just like, and now I'm gonna no, make sure Cap flamed gets flamed by it for it. Okay. I, I, I need to pass I highly doubt on. that. Twitch yeah. chat knows everything. Yeah, Twitch chat does know. <laughs> yeah, Alright, tier 2 tower next up. You know, Enchantress is not Dyer's close to the Maelstrom. I mean, she's pretty close, but not really. Is that what Dendi's going to? Again, the Mega Creeps thought he's gotta go for the Maelstrom next. Yeah. Surprised he's not going Battle Fury. Maybe he's going for Armlet? Who knows? Who knows? Alright, I don't know how Navi's gonna hold this. Funix is gonna get punched up. Oh, there you go. Hobos is gonna come in. So, we got everybody. Three heroes in Cog. It looks kinda good, but it's definitely not great for Hobos as they quickly snowball out, get the extra kill. You know, some fun. Actually, hit Seneco on that one. They're just gonna chase him all the way back to the fountain. Seneco, fortunately. Thinking ahead, gets the Shadow Amulet. Yep. He can stay invis all day. Really, really sick strategy here coming out. Oh, oh what? That's the one, the one foot TP. I like that. Oh, that's a bait. Yep, now Denny's gonna be able to hit the hook right inside the fountain. And, oh god, he's not even gonna get a Huntskin TP out. This is actually sad. <laughs> sick bait doesn't even work. 38 to 9 is the end score as Na'Vi. Finally call GG. We poor Fountain. Fountain not enough to do nothing. Like, Hutch got the hook. Fountain didn't get the kill. Well, I just cannot wait to, to hear, hear what the, all uh, of yeah. the analysts have to say. I think this is really where Suns fan and, and uh, Thraction Slax will be able to show. Oh, we flew them in just for this. <laughs> exactly. We knew these exact scenarios would occur. And this is going to be Slax's moment to shine. So, uh, looking forward to their analysis. But first, Lumi, you got anything to say about this? Uh, GG Navi, I like the way they went out. At least mm-hmm. gave us a... Well, not exactly a classy game, but a fun game. Entertaining. Yeah. Entertaining. Yeah. And that's what we strive for here at the Dream Link Studio. So.